system are back. I'm going to have a go at taking the cylinder head off the Caterpillar digger and see just how stuck it is and also try and work out how much is missing. Now, the reason I'm doing it in the dark is because it's that hot at the minute. I'll literally die if I try and do it in the middle of the day. So, I'm doing it this evening. I'm going to try and get as much as I can done tonight and I'll have another go tomorrow. Stuff does seem to be coming to bits, which is always good. I don't know what that is. So, I'm just going to take everything I can off and then pull the head off and then we'll see how much water has gone down the sold cylinders and see if it's uh, repairable. I'm, I'm sure it will be. I'm hoping it will be. Um, so yeah. So that gunky chunky stuff. All right, so so that is maggots and, and a bit of damp. <laughs> that one's got wasps in it. And that one's got more maggots. Okay. Why do they have mag <laughs> maggots? I'm not joking. <laughs> it's got maggots. And I've never seen an engine with like this spacer gasket. I've never seen that before. It's probably bloody expensive, but um, I think that metal piece is okay. So that'll go again. And to be honest, this whole engine, and I take it that's a bit of gasket. Yeah, that's a seal. Welcome back. Is it still on? Are we filming? We are. This is the lesser spotted caterpillar cylinder head, and actually, it isn't in too bad condition. Um, obviously, this is the, the naughty one. The valves aren't that corroded. Okay? I'm going to get the wire wheel on that tomorrow. The rest are perfect. I generally think this is actually going to run <laughs> like a clock. I need to order a cylinder head gasket. Not really sure what that is in there, but they're all the same, so I'm guessing that's normal. Yes, yeah, so we're going to order a cylinder egg gasket. All else that I can see is missing is there's two little clamps that hold the injectors in. Someone's pulled the two injectors on these two for some reason, but not pulled them completely. They've pulled them a little bit, and then they've lost the things that hold the injector in the head, which is mint. So um, I now need to deal with that. But other than that, if I can get it cranking over tomorrow, chuck the oil away, get an oil filter, well, that'll say oil, it'll be full of water. Get some fresh oil in it, see if we can get the turbo to turn. I mean, look in there. Can you see all the poo? A, a bird's been living in there, having a big crappy great time. <laughs> but with any luck, if I'm careful, 
Get loads of lubricant in there. Get a little socket on the end of the turbo. Oh, that's probably easier. It means I'll pull out, mate. I'm good that will turn. It's trying. I think I'll hoover all the shit out, get the airline in there before I force it. That might go again. Very, very happy. Right, wine time. I've blinded it myself. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I'm just going to liberate some batteries off this old lorry. These will do nicely. Right, so we've knocked it down a bit, as you can see, with the proper technique. I'm just going to scratch that bit of crust off there, stop the rings touching it, and then we'll try it on the starter. And fingers crossed, it might go on the, on the starter on this next go. Yeah, that, that, that other piston, <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, it's come uh, disconnected, I'd say. This was terrible news. Hmm. Well, I need to take the sump off. So this piston didn't move, and I've noticed a large crack is not good. So on closer inspection, we found a crack. Oh, that is leaking all down me. A crack in the side of the block, which I don't know, I've missed, but uh, yes, yeah, so that's uh, probably the real reason it was uh, parked up. So, I think we'll pull the engine out and see how f it is. Load a bit of plate over that. Right, so obviously that changes things now. So, I'm gonna whip the engine out. I'm going to take it out as a pack with the pumps on. Doesn't look like there's too much to undo. A few wires, a few pipes, fuel in, and a throttle cable down there. A couple of pipes under here, and I don't think there's a whole lot of hydraulic oil left in the tank, so it's no great loss. And then I think there's just two bolts down here, two caps either side there. And hopefully she'll lift straight out. So I'm going to get to work and bolting the bits and pieces. I've recruited the old man with his gentle telehandler skills oh, to help remove way. the engine for me. Down a bit. That way a bit. Up at that, up at that. Up. Well, keep going, keep going, this way now towards me, yeah, go backwards, delicately done by dad there. Without your chain mate, it would have come easy,
have a nasty. All sorts of shit in the bottom of that sump. And if you can see that, I think that's part of the cam. Never a good thing to find. Nice skin of oil. Disgusting. <clears throat> nice. Closer look inside. Bit of piston. Not sure. Oh, that could have been a shell. Not entirely sure. Um, piston. More piston. Where's that cog come from then? Ah. So, that there. And that. Obviously turn round and it snapped the cog off there. Not entirely sure what they're for. It's not a cam. Whether it's just to throw the oil about, must be agitator or something. Snap one of them off. Well, I think now we ought to take this lot off and then we'll try and Knock that piston out. In fact, we could knock that piston out now. That has had a terrible, terrible time. Uh, now let's try and get that mashed up connecting rod out. That really doesn't look that bad. Not that bad. That's the one next to the Bannon. Hmm. 
Ooh. Right, well, that's it for the cat engine. God knows what made the piston go wrong. I'm not sure if it's all the starvation or whatever. But uh, anyway, I'm not sure whether I put just a Cat V8 engine in because I can buy them off eBay. Or do we try and weld up the holes, order a Comrade, get the crank reground, and put this one back together? Let me know in the comments. And we'll see you next time.